Okay, so in this video, we're gonna, again, we're going to have a look at landing pages. And the page I'm on at the moment is called Instapage. And the post I'm on is 100 landing page examples to model your next page after. And you can find it here at the address above. But I just want to make you aware of some of the, the examples I found here. In a previous video, I had spoken about leaving as little, um, you know, um, clutter on your landing page and hyperlinks to social media accounts and maybe to your home page and all those different things. So in this case here, I'm just going to show you this exa example of a landing page here by Gecko. And as you can see here, all that it is is simply a landing page with a simple character, with a speech bubble. And all we've got here is a little uh, form where you can enter your zip code and you can get a quote or whatever it is that the company is selling. So as you can see here, there's no kind of hyperlinks. There's nothing here at all that can confuse you. When you get to this landing page, you either sign up and put your... Um, your zip code in or you just immediately leave so just thought this was a good example of a landing page that uh, might give you ideas now there's a ton of these as it says here there's a hundred landing pages that you can find now another example i found too that i thought was very good was this one here of the it's for giving away a free book and it is this one here and again it's just simply an image of the book a headline um sub headline and then just a simple um testimonial and again, all you get here is just a click button. There's nothing else. There's nowhere else you can go. Um, there's nothing to distract the visitor. They just simply have a look at the landing page. They can click the button and they can go forward or they can just leave the page and go somewhere else. So you're going to find some great ideas here. But I just want to make you aware of something else that can actually affect the effectiveness of your uh, landing page. And it was something I heard in a recent interview from the author of the book, um, Persuasion which I highly recommend that you get a copy of. Um, but in the interview, um, the author was actually speaking about um, landing pages. And for example here, there was a company that had set up a landing page. Now, it wasn't uh, this company here. It was actually a furniture shop. And what they were looking for was people to opt into whatever offers they had. But they were just going to test two landing pages. Now, in the, each landing page, everything was the exact same, same headlines and graphics and what, everything else. But the only thing that changed was the background image. And you can see here, this one here, these kind of wispy clouds. So in their test, they tested two images, and one of them was um, clouds, um, you know, fluffy clouds in the background, and the other one was um, a background image with coins on it. And they just wanted to see did it affect how people, um, you know, when the visitor when they landed on the web page after visiting the landing page, did it affect what they did afterwards? And they found that people that had gone to the landing page that had the clouds on it were persuaded to think of um, comfort, fluffiness, and because of that then, when they actually got to the store to have a look at the products, those people were actually more inclined to buy um, furniture that was comfortable, and they never considered the price of it. It was always the comfort that was the forefront of their mind because they'd seen the clouds here in the background. And on the other landing page that had the one with the coins on it, they found that the people that went from that landing page to the store actually were, um, their mindset was focused on money. And because of that, then they were more conscious of spending the money. And they found that these people then, when they did actually purchase products, purchase products that were actually a lot cheaper and they went for the price rather than the quality or the comfort or anything else because in their mind they were pre-programmed because of the background image of the coins it made them uh, think that way so now you may think well you know I couldn't be swayed like that and the people that um, got to those landing pages probably thought the exact same thing they never noticed it um, it was just something that went into their subconscious mind and because of that then it influenced their decision then afterwards so I just want to make you aware of when you are actually putting your landing page together, you know, there is some ways you can actually persuade your um, visitor before they actually read the headline or see the graphics or the opt-in form or anything else. Have a look at the images that you have on your landing page and could you do anything on with those to um, sway your visitor to... Um, Go. What kind of a mood would you like them to feel? Would you make them feel comfort? You know, would you like them to feel freedom? Um, what way would you like them to feel? So, for example, here, if I just come up here to the first one that's on the page, and it is um, a landing page for Uber. So, without actually reading the headline or reading anything else, you know, what does this landing page say to you on first impression? And to me, of course, the image here in the middle um, just leaps out at you. And when I look at this image, um, what I'm thinking when I see this is I'm thinking of someone who's older, 
who's more experienced and they're in the driving seat and the younger person is in the back seat and they're being taken along so i'm getting this feeling of experience um maybe wisdom and um you know maybe a feeling of safety because this person's behind the wheel rather than the younger person now maybe you might actually when you look at this image you might have a different impression you know maybe make make you sway you one way or you know make give you um different ideas or whatever but this is what uh, when i see this image what it means to me and i assume that that is why they've got an image like this kind of you know st bang center in the middle of the landing page because that is the first thing they want people's eyes to think of they want them to think of experience you know somebody being in the driving seat um you know this person in the back seat seems relaxed they seem happy you know and they seem to be enjoying themselves so take a look at what um when you're going through this page you know just don't um just pay attention to maybe the wording and maybe the layouts and stuff like that. To pay attention to the other kind of psychological little tricks and maybe that you don't notice on first on first look. But now that you're aware of them, you'll probably see them in landing pages all over the place and little things maybe that sway you and make you feel maybe a sense of freedom or maybe money making or you know knowledge and experience and you know when it comes to putting your own landing page together, what could you put in the background? that could also um, improve the opt-ins or the type of people that you would get through onto your lists. So again, this is a great landing page, or sorry, blog page to get to. Um, you got 100 examples. So if you're looking for any ideas or you just don't want to know what to put on yours or the layout of your landing page, it can really help you out. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.